bow. I feel a little uncomfortable. I don't know. Am I right for tonight? Am I like fly like that? You know, I'm, check me out, man. Maybe you should have hired a customer for the night. Sounds like a good idea. One phone call away. I'm telling you, <laughs> just one call. There it goes. Wait a minute. Are you disexcited or are you just acting it? Like you were seriously excited or something? You think if I went through the trouble of spending 500 pounds just to get this on this special night and you ask me if I'm thinking, don't try me, you. <laughs> I could just bust your mouth there. Okay. Huh. All right. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm, well, I'm going to sit here and watch how the whole shit spells out. Well, let me pick my phone call. Hey. Hey. Are you going to keep a lady waiting? No. How dare me keep you waiting? Look, I'm sorry. I'm going to be there in a split second. Then, come pick me up, baby. Okay. I'll be there very soon, all right? Later. Uh oh, player, player. Oh, come on, buddy. I thought you said you've quit playing games. So, who is uh, Lily Spiff? Spiff yeah. is a no Spiff. <laughs> She's a nobody. Excuse me? <laughs> come on, nobody don't do messages. I mean, especially when it sounds very passionate, you know, and spells out passion. Give me, give me, give me. Just deal with this quickly. I am. I will see you later. I am busy. Come on, shut down, let's go. <laughs> shut down, please. Let's go, let's go. Okay, shut down. Yeah. I just don't get it. I mean, he's the one that asked for us to chat tonight, so why is he being so funny? And he says there that he's online, so obviously. He's online. Here it comes. Trust me, no man can be sent message with this hyper romantic fingers of mine. And with really? <laughs> what does he say? Open it. Open it. I'm busy right now. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I knew it. I mean, someone told me that this is how these so called superstars behave. Relax. Don't get yourself worked up. He could be on set, you know. Set my fine ass. I mean, <laughs> that's what they always claim on here. How much does he get to be on set anyway? Derek is a big boy. He makes more than one million per movie. Look, Lily Spiff is a big girl. I'll pay him times two. No, times three. What am I saying? I'll pay him times five of that. He will just pay me a little attention. You can't wait to lay your hands on that guy, can you? <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, those lips. Ooh, darling, the things I could do with that. <laughs> God forgive me. Are you sure Daddy Darius is not is dropping on us again? He wouldn't dare. That's why I prefer the old shoe. Well, you're going to have to use the new one. Let me help you. Just look at it simple, like this. You put it in like this, and then you tie it. My God. How long is it going to take you to learn how to make your shoes? Hello, girl. I'm on my way. Presley isn't helping me at all. The manager. Why? I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Bye, yeah, uh, bye. Come on, Auntie. That's not fair. I've been ready since. Really? <laughs> well, my dear, you wouldn't call this ready, would you? Presley. It's your shoes. Why do you say you're ready? <laughs> I got it. My goodness, was that you? <laughs> Pressing the bell like that? Were you trying to break it? 
to home for crying out loud. So I got his number. Can you just tell Well, since you can't remember, I shall remind you. I am Lily Spears. Lily You were certainly ego. You have forgotten me entirely. No, uh, uh, it's just that I will, don't get offended. Okay. I was up late last night. And uh, my brain is a little slow, I'm drowsy. Me. Oh, are you in a production? Production? I mean, shooting, isn't that what you guys call it? No. No, not at all. Uh, I'm sorry. Listen, Lady Spiff, where did we meet? That's the governor's daughter. Hmm? From my governor's daughter. I can't hear you. Is someone there with you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, my PA. Okay, so um, you and I have been chatting on the net for a while, and you know, with my friend, I. Um, you what, Lily, 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 right? Can I? Oh, would can I? Call um, are you sure you'll call me back, or should I just call you back in an hour? Let's see. Or oh, whatever. Why can't he give me a little attention? Is this how he behaves with his fans? Goodness. Ugh. Come on, Lily. You are not a fan, you're a desperate lover. Whatever. So <laughs> yeah, hello. Uh, hold on, hold on, please. Sorry, you have a call, sir. Um, Melvin, sir. Victor. Sir. Give me some nice clothes. Put a combination together. Alright, sir. Wake me up. This is a talk forum between the governor and cross section of youths. Which you expected to give some kind of credibility and publicize the whole story. Sorry, just go ahead. Go ahead, please. Is there a caller I need to know? There is nothing you need to know, but the caller is an irrelevant call. Okay? Don't be distracted. Go ahead. I'm not the one being distracted here. Well, then let me deal with my stuff. Let me deal with mine. Just go ahead with why you invited me. I don't think you truly understand the meaning of an artist manager. Yes, I understand the job of an artist and that includes the manager not being distracted by an artist's stream of phone call neither is that manager close in his artist's private affairs now melvin i'm sure you know your bounds can you just go ahead i heard about bc coca's melodrama the chinese restaurant last yes, night yes i knew you would have heard that because you always listen to the bad things the bullshit. Keep your ears on the ground for the nonsenses. You know, if that would be all, just let me know so I can just move on to some reasonable things, please. I don't have time for all of this. <laughs> Who is, uh... Lily Spiff. How do you mean? You mean you? Yeah. Who is she? Oh my days. 
is one of the richest single lady we have in this country. Her father used to be the governor of Cross River, Donna Smith. Okay. You have not. Seriously. Seriously. And is it because she's rich and single and her father? Probably both reasons. That is why she thinks she can buy my time. She's the one that's been calling you. Hey. She's the one that's been calling me. You don't expect me to be calling her. She tells me she's come to Nigeria uh, for holidays simply because of Moa. And she's paying you. Come on, man. You're a businessman. Pay her. I'm your good old manager. Come on, let me fix a deal. A deal? With whom? Have her number. Please. Hell no. I'm not going to give you her number because I don't want no bullshit deal from you. Come on, please. We can make something from... Come on, money talks and bullshit does the remaining things. Come on, man. Give me the girl's goddamn number. A chance. All right? Just forget it. If that is it, I'm out of here. See ya. No, no. Come on. Come on. Let me have the number. He had his attitude. Shoulders flying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I, I'm not, I, look at that. I have no time for with all of that. But like, ooh, can you pass me my phone, darling? Sure. Ooh, no number. Hmm. Uh, yeah, hello? Who's speaking? Uh, this is um, Didi. Who's Didi? Didi. Yeah. Derek. Douglas. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Hi. Um, just uh, hold on. Let me. F talk. Um. Okay. Are you there? Uh, I'm parked. We can talk now. Um. How are you? How are you feeling? I'm cool. Nice. Nice. And you? Thank you. Thank you. Um. Somebody called me. Someone called Melvin. Yeah, yeah, that's my manager. Um, he says you can't make it to Calabar. Is that true? No, no, I can't. You see, I, I, I can't because I need to be doing some stuff, you know. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure he told you I was going to be in that is, is that a better place? Sure, wherever you say, you know, anytime you say. I just want to meet you. <laughs> sure, no problem. Tell you what, uh, Lily, I, I have to go now because somebody's waiting for me. All right? I just wanted to call and let you know just to that I'm ready and willing to meet with you. Okay? Okay. Um, it was really nice talking to you. Thanks for calling. Right on. Have a good one. Oh, he just called! Oh my God! You're still awake? And I am hungry. It's already past 11 p.m. Preston. What am I supposed to do? And I am very... I thought I'd make quicker oats for you in the evening. And I thought you used to bring back food from the office. Oh, yes. I used to bring food from the office. But if you have not used for some days now, I haven't done that. Why? By the office. No, no. I mean, yes, yes, but I'll sort it out very soon. When? Very soon, firstly. Let's go and see how we can solve your hunger problem. Auntie, do you call Auntie Juliet? Lately, I saw her in my dream. You did? So, what did you dream about now? Come here, big man. Precisely. Alright, sir. Girl, four will be staying in the suite. 
Okay, so the rest is the room. Sir, there yeah. is no problem about the rooms, sir. Okay. But the suite, sir. The VC is still around. No, no, the VC will be checking out today. All right, sir. I'll then inform the accounts people to prepare, sir. Just do that exactly, okay? All right, sir. So one more thing, sir. The girl on suspension is actually built to resume today. Okay. And she's reported already. I don't know what to do, sir. Mm. Just do whatever you feel like doing, okay? But just make sure you don't get her back. Is that clear? All right, sir. All right, sir. And uh, one more thing. Yes, sir. Please understand the caliber of guests we expect here this evening. And don't do anything that will discredit us. I won't, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And have a nice day. Thank you, you sir. There's been a delay. Well, the organizers of the event um, pushed my arrival for tomorrow because they believe that the governor will not be in the state until tomorrow. Which means I arrive tomorrow and the forum will not be happening. It's been pushed for another two days. I spoke with Melvin yesterday and he didn't tell me anything about it. Well, I'm just over a minute ago. That's when I got that phone call. You know, um, Lily. We will meet tomorrow, okay? I'm a bit up here. Everything is going down the drain. Um, could you, you know, could we keep our meeting irrespective of what the state government is planning? If, or what happens, we will meet tomorrow, okay? Okay. Um, I'll be here. I promise I'm not going to let you wait for long. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, it's his. Who's that? Um, it's Mr. Melvin, sir. What up, chap? What's happening? Now, no more tomorrow morning. Melvin, Melvin, please listen to me. I don't like it when you push me around. Can you just make up your mind what you want to do? Just, just make up your mind on the schedule and stop pushing me around. I hate it. Victor, there has been another change of plan. You have to pack everything again. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I hate this. Let's see. Arrange the bags, the shoes, and hang up my coats. Yes, ma'am. Oh, sorry. Um, let's see. To the reception and you turn to your right. That's where the restaurant is. Yes, ma'am. And the bar? Oh, it's just, I just sent the restaurant. What is that? A stain? Is that a stain? On the bed sheets? <laughs> My goodness. Look. I expect you to change the bed sheets. Clean the bathroom, clean the bleeding living room, clean under the bed, everywhere, because I will not take dirt. Do you understand me? I do. I not sleep in filth. Do you understand me? Yes. Good. Brilliant. Oh. It's just too touchy for crying out loud. Just because of a simple, small stain she saw on her bed sheet, she branded the whole room on Kempt and demanded we clean I hope this supervisor is watching. Because nobody will expect me to work late and they ask me to come back as early as 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. I won't though. Calm down. This kind of people, I love working for them. Anything they ask me to do, I will do. Because finally when I'm leaving, something will enter my pocket and I'll go home smiling. Easy for you to say. Me, with Presley alone at home, you 
through this Jesus, this one is Vivian Westwood. One of the biggest designers we have. Ah, Gina. $1,000. Felt it. Hey, Gina, G Gina, where is this for me? Wait, you have body. Wait, let me see. Are you out of your mind? Gina, just wait. Just wait before she comes. Nobody will you see. Wait. Just wait. I read the room. I'm not in this place. Let this stay for me now, please. please. When did this uh, last supplies come in? Sir. Yes, sir. Bye, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, one minute, please. Are you insane? Come on, go. He's a star. She's obsessed. He is ever. Oh my God, Mr. Derek Douglas, you're very welcome, sir. How are you? Very fine, sir. She you're you're welcome to me. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Room service. Room service. So can you find your way back? Very good, just give the key to Victor. Yeah? Victor, you heard? Room service. Room service. Room service. Can I help you? Yeah, we met last year in the at Linda Hunter's child's dedication. Linda is my sister. Oh my god! You're not there! I am. Where is she? She's in the city here now. She's been here for close to two months. Oh my goodness. You have to take me to her. I will, I will. I'll see you. I'll see you too. I'll see you too. I'll see you too. There we go. That way? Good. Very Good. welcome, sir. Thank you. I hope you have my PDS key as well. Oh, certainly, sir. Right? Okay. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Lydia Smith, the ex governor's uh, daughter, is she in? Oh, the ex governor's daughter. Yeah, yes. Yes, sir. Nice, nice. What's her number? 215. And two one mine five. is 219. Yeah. Great. Yes. Wait, sir. You're right. Very welcome. Obsessed. He is everything she wants in a man. He's a cute. She's got money. Yeah, feel. Are you here? Okay, I'm going to take you to the driver. Could you make sure that the house leaves my seat at the reception? It could be funny about us. What my people will refer to as Enenepe Jolo. Look at the figure. Hey, well, Gina, you're beautiful. Forget the money, no deal. If money there, yeah, baby, go to shine. Oh, my baby. Well, let's She's back. She's the one. You're to get me into trouble. Help me, help me, help me. Wait, let me check. She's looking. Get this thing out.
aware how beautiful you are. Beautiful. Thank you. And obviously you weren't expecting me tonight, so you're getting dressed to meet up with somebody else. I'm sorry to tell you, sorry to interrupt, that man has to wait because I'm here and I'm taking you for dinner right now. <laughs> well, excuse me, sir. He's sorry to you, know, but I think you should oblige him on this request. No, I'm not going to take no for an answer. We're going. Madam, madam, madam. You look very beautiful and no one would want to let go. Let me get in with this. Actually, please. Oh, God, I'm sorry, madam. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Ah, I have a Excuse me. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, Melvin. gentleman meets me here and yes. take you away. And then, um, <laughs> l l let me get a background. I think the slim one will be Nowhere don't know. Hey! Oga actor! <laughs> I greet! <laughs> I greet, sir! Uh, almost, what do you want here? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, sir. Almost, I, I have to take a question. What are you doing here? Okay! Now they will full flash. They say, look at full for full flash drink for you. So I don't put a drink and call. Can you have a kitchen? Yeah, put out for me. For kitchen, like this. Yes, almost. Just go, eh? Yay! Almost. Thank you. This is what I like this. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I like this. Yes. You look seasoned. Nice red pear. They're mine. Earrings. Nice. Okay, I guess we're almost there. Bangles, bangles. bangles. My, my bangles. You must look beautiful. I see a little tight. I believe we're set. Ready to go, sir. Okay, Miss Biff. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> we go. Yes, we go. All right. So we all set. Ready. We go. Miss Biff. <laughs>
Okay. I take it like you're the type of person that doesn't like to talk at the dining table. You could at least give me one of your smiles. Um, you... You know, you forced me to come for this dinner, right? Yes, I did. Did I? Yes, 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 you, you did. I think we have to hurry. I don't want to get home later. Home? <laughs> no, 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 I meant we... We have to hurry. Yes, hurry. Okay. We barely just got here. Well, whatever you say. It's your night. I'm at your beck and call. Whatever you want. I see. around. You having us sneaking in and out of the hotel. <laughs> of course not. I mean, can we possibly stop talking about this hide issue? Okay. Well, is this not the point where Romeo gets his goodnight kiss? Um, no, you, you can't. Oh, I know. <sighs> yes, me. I do. I want in my life, I want to wake, I 
see the sun rise on your face There's a reason I'm crazy I can wait for my own room service Room service Room service Room service Room service Room service He's a figure She is rich She is more than a fan Now answer me the two of you. Answer me. Okay, well then. Almost. Sir? Which one of them? Ah. Sana Gina. What kind of language is that? Sorry, sir. It's Gina. Gina, you? You? You have the audacity to wear my dress? Who do you think you are? My Vivian Westwood? Are you freaking stupid? Goodness gracious, how dare you? Oh. What? Uh, uh, Lily, just take it easy, okay? Just, just please, just give me the leverage to handle this. Fine. And I'll show you I'll handle it adequately. No, no, you. Does she or does she not wear the clothes? I'm sure you can hear me well, young lady. Does she or does she not wear the clothes? Okay. I must open the door. Oh, okay, sir. Oh, sorry, am I interrupting your oh, one? No, no, no. Yeah. Hi, Lily Smith. Uh, sorry for interrupting both of you. Will the three of you get the hell out of here, okay? Yes, and then you two, get it to, to, to get my son on. You're all I'm through with this guest. Yes, sir. Lily? Yes, I'm here. No, no. I'm Lily. Is she called Lily as well? No, she's Gina. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Lily Smith, right? I am Lily Smith. Will you stop interrupting? I'm speaking to her. Right? Lily, what the heck? Wait, for crying out loud! She's a housekeeper here. Ask him. She was supposed to clean my room. She went there, stole my Vivian. Wore it and impersonated me. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to make you understand. Can you just wait for a while? Is it too much to ask for? Yes, it is. You can't wait. Look, just meet the terms of our arrangement. That's all I ask. You paid me for us to meet, right? So can we meet? Can we go into your room, sit down and chat like normal human beings? No! That's what I'm trying to make you understand. Can I wait for a while? Look, don't 
Don't get me annoyed, okay? You were paid for a service, so just render it. That's all I ask. You want to get technical? Fine. I'm looking at you, and so are you, Lillian Spiff. What more do you want from somebody you simply just want to meet? What's that for? Miss Spiff. trying to do? You just sexually harassed me. You want to rape me next? Is that what you want to do? Here? No. I'm sorry, okay? I've said it. I am sorry. Fine. Well, I'm sorry too. Okay. Now that we have an understanding, I'm going to go to my room. Try not to stop me or follow me. Because if you do, I'm afraid I have to call my lawyer. I have a witness. Did they pardon you? I've been fired. Oh God. Jesus. 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 Gina. Gina, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. It's okay. It's, it's nothing. It's okay. I should leave now. Let me walk. No, no. I don't want them to fire you. If they see you with me, you might get into trouble. You can come to the house later. No, no, no. It doesn't matter, please. It was all my fault. Let me just say it to the garage. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Okay, gonna should be this. Yeah, thank you. Uh, here, here, here. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Good. Good, 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 morning, good afternoon, sir. Good day. Good day. Uh, I'm sorry about your friend. I'm fine, sir. Uh, I heard she's been expelled. Thank you, sir. sir, sir please. Uh, we're very sorry about the embarrassment. We didn't mean to cause such embarrassment towards. You don't have to apologize about anything. Okay? Thank you, sir. So, where is she? She's gone home? Can you take me to her house? To her house? Thank you. Thank you again. So, uh, what happened? You're asking me? You mean your artist didn't tell you? Look, why didn't you explain to me that your artist has a penchant for housekeepers? I mean, a thief for that matter. She comes into my hotel suite, wears my designer clothes, 
poses as me and has your client running around like a stupid dog. Wait, 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 just calm down a bit. So you're telling me that somebody impersonated you and Derek according to acquaintance? Both of you get together and think of how you refund my money. Excuse me. Refund? You're permanently excused. Now, I paid for services that weren't rendered. So get my money back. Get out. Well, Melvin, I really don't care what you think. Alright? No, no, listen. You need to care what I think. Only if you're ready to pay this to Malaka refund. And remember, it should not affect my percentage. Wait, is there something in this deal that I don't know about? Something else that you sign? I'm beginning to wonder. No, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I don't understand. What don't you understand, Melvin? I met my part of the bargain. I was supposed to meet up with the woman. I met up with her. I met my part. Yes? Until she tried to sexually harass me. Where were you? Look, right? Look, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just beginning to wonder. Look, 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 my friend, you're the one that's got a prestige to protect. I know I have a prestige to protect. Okay, why, are we, why are we engaging ourselves in such desperate girl in this kind of cold war? Listen, we don't need to get ourselves in this media discredit. Who, who is going to face more media discredit? This lady or me? Who? Again, I met my part of the bargain. I was supposed to meet up with her. I did. She tried to rape me. Right, for lack of a better word. Well, who, who faces, well, let's face it. Quote and unquote, she paid a guy just to meet with him. Who has stooped low, if you want to put it that way? Who has more media discredit to face? The lady or me? If you ask me, I will say it's you. Because, how will I put it? It's just like you're a, you're a gigolo. Come on, she paid you for just a meeting. Look, Melvin, you brought this deal, you fix it because I don't like the way it's going. It's, if my personal life has to be brought to scrutiny, I'm roping you in. Who is it? my boss. Vic! Um, What's up? Is she ready? Uh, yes. Um, she's waiting. Great. Just give me, just give me a few minutes. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and where are you headed to now? That's not in your business, no. Another place? Where do you think she's going to? Is there another place we can go to and possibly she could be there? Okay, maybe she went to pick her nephew up from school. Do you know where it is? Yes, I do. Come in. There's a reason I'm crazy. I can wait for my own. Oh, oh, oh.
Are you out of your mind? You took him to my house? You said he says he needed to see you. My God, I can't believe you did that. Wait, 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 wait. It's just this is Lily now. Lily, I'm sorry about everything that happened today. I'm sorry, just try and understand. My name is not Lily. My name is Gina. Okay, Gina. I'm sorry about whatever happened. Can we just go somewhere, sit down, have a drink, you know, because pretty soon there's going to be a crowd here. I'm not going anywhere with you. Gina, wait now. Don't Lily. you even tell me anything. I'm just trying to help. I know. You know? So I really need to leave you right now, please. Sir, I, I, I have to go. Uh, yes, um, how are you going to get? Are you going back to the hotel? No, I'm dismissed for the day. I'll just walk to her house. And you don't want to take a taxi? No, no, thank you. I'll catch up with her. Please. I think so. I, I was just trying to be nice. I still don't understand you, Kanzo. I don't. Well, uh, it's no news that my client here has suffered some severe personal and public embarrassment in your hotel on account of your staff's misconduct. Ex-staff story. Ex-staff, whatever. But go in view of the fact that my client here is not satisfied with the, with the management's uh, handling of the matter. So, I'm here to push for the review of the incidents in such a way that would land that culprit to the best appropriate legal reprimand. Otherwise, I mean otherwise, I will be forced to take it out with the management of the hotel in a law court. <laughs> oh, I, I, I still don't understand that. I'm still in the dark. Let me see if I can shed a little light in your darkness. It's quite simple what my lawyer is trying to say. I want that thief prosecuted. If not, I will sue the hotel. And please, when I'm speaking, you keep quiet. Do you understand it now? This, I mean, this is serious, Lily. Isn't it? It's serious. Isn't it? I thought that the deal, the condition of our deal was for her to meet you and get reacquaintance. Okay. She's done that. Now there's no refund. Okay, and what did she say? The same three minute thing. Abuse. <sighs> Let me get the door. I presume that's uh, Victor. So what does she think she can do? Is she going to sue you? Melvin! Who's at the door? Uh, some girl from the hotel, she says she needs to see you urgently. I'm trying to tell her it's a no-no. Okay, uh, st you step aside, step aside. Let me just see who it is. Come in, come in. For what do you have to God damn it. For what? <laughs> the owner of the dress is stolen work. She says she wants to persecute her we just have to oblige her. Oblige her, my ass. What happened to your policies? I remember some time ago you gave me a sermon about your goddamn policies. Are they non-existent anymore? What happened to them? Does your policy include making yourself ready tools in the hands of desperate and indelicate people like that Slitten you call Miss Spiff to be used at the detriment of the defenseless? She's nothing but a frustrated bitch! Calm down, Mr. Douglas, okay? Don't calm me down! 
I'm not ready to calm down. I don't want to calm down. This is not right, and I'm going to take it. But if you don't want to calm down, I think you just go sort it out with the lady, okay? Miss Spiff. Hell no! I'm not going to say anything to Miss Spiff. I have nothing to do. Melvin, I will be there. I said, give me a minute. I have nothing to do with Miss Spiff. Give me the name of the police station, and I will sort it out with the police. Going to the police? Yes, that's what I'm doing. Get a girl. No, out. I need to go to the meeting. That's in 50 minutes. Reschedule it. What? You heard me. Calm down. Calm down, young lady. Huh? Beside, she's entitled to bed. No, it's not like I'm forcing it on you, but I pray you understand. You know, you understand with us. No, it hasn't come to that. Don't talk like that now. Ah. John! Sean, sir. Go and prepare her bear bond. Okay, sir. Actor. <laughs> Wait till you carry come for us. You know, say, we they like kings. Whoever is going to a king must not come empty handed. Um, well, no problem. Don't worry, officer. We'll, we'll take care of it. We'll go organize something. Abi, you know, say, you people, where they. Come out for television, sir. You people, where would they watch for television? You are like ego. <laughs> and you know, whoever sees an ego must be happy. Because you don't see ego all the time. You know? <laughs> yes. So, uh, well, something must be arranged, you know? Daddy. Talking about the honor of the spiffs here. We, we can't let them get away with this. I don't know his name. I don't know his rank. All I know is the crap that they're trying to fuss down my throat at State C or whatever they call it. Even the one I watched last night, where you were taking someone's wife, Abby. Are you now? Yeah, it's me. It's not me. It's me, but it's really not me. It's the character in the movie. Sorry. Let me take a call from my other. Hello, sir. Shame, sir. No, we've not released her yet. But about to. Uh, Roger. Instruction taken and will be implemented, sir. Thank you, sir. Any development, officer? I'm afraid. The call was my AC in charge of said CID. You know I'm his 2IC and um, second in command. He said we should suspend the bear. What? Why? For what? I don't know. You know the complainant no be small person. Lawyer, she be you know her now. Yes, I do know her. Oh, Melvin, do you do you do you have that number for uh CP Daniel? Yes, 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 I do. Let me have it. Let me yes, have it. yes, I do have it. Zero seven zero. Yeah. Three triple five one two seven six. Hello. Yes, sir. Hi. Good day, sir. Yes, this is Derek Douglas. Daddy, the investigating officer in charge of the case just called me. It seems a thief called some commissioner of police, who then called another the commissioner of police here, and they let me her go. No, 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 Daddy. I don't care what people say. I don't care what they think. I don't. She has to be punished. Daddy, I can't believe you're saying that. I mean, I'm being humiliated here, Daddy. She stole from me. I, I, I'm the person that should be apologized to. I deserve an apology. They shouldn't let her go. Okay, Daddy. Thank you. I love you, Daddy. Bye. 
Let's see who has no power. Um, you can sign yourself. Hey, 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 hey. Bring it here, bring it here. Give it to me. This is where you're supposed to sign. See it here. Uh, I'm waiting again now. I beg my girl, no best. Make I answer my yoga again. Hello, sir. Uh, Shell, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Come, 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 come. John. I beg carry your baby and go keep. Uh, yes, sir. Sean, sir. Uh, Ogato. Douglas, Abi. Yes, um, Derek. And Douglas. Douglas. I beg make you no this. Eh? My AC said there is a counter order from the AIG for the bell to be suspended. And the, he said that the case will be transferred to our zona headquarters facing Monday morning. I beg. I beg on that. Make you no this. My hand no there again. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that girl is going to sleep in there till Monday morning? Eh? Is it any big deal? Our cells are clean on daily basis. Uh, D man, let's go. We really don't have time for this. Thank you very much, sir. Man, yeah. we don't have time. We're late. Please, thank you very much. Eh? Thank you very much. Uh, we don't have time. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, thank you very much. Eh, thank you. Thank you for your call also. Eh. I, I thought it was Anita and Presley. That's why. Okay. Have they gone out? Yes, yes. They went to church. Well, I came to say hi. Yes, hi, hi. And that I'm leaving with the afternoon's flight. You're 